the muzzle test with the bullet. You want to get way down to that inside line. That's where the reading is taking place. A lot of people look at it straight across here. The bullet test is just a rough gauge. It really is. Here's a 1943 AP round. Goes in pretty good. Not quite all the way, but almost all the way. Here's a 1977 HXP. Doesn't go in quite as far. And then you have a little 155 grain Sierra. Goes in a little further than the other one. And here's a 168 grain Nosler, which doesn't go in at all. So it's it's tough. So you got to make sure you're at least using some sort of consistency and try to use HXP or LC. And there you go. That doesn't go all the way in. The gauges are on themselves, whatever they are. I don't get too hung up on the numbers. I'd have to look up what this one was, but this one gauges right around two. Remember, you gotta read down on the inside edge. The camera doesn't really capture that, but it's right at two by this gauge. I also have this gauge. One, two, which gauge is closer to three? This gauge also does throat wear. So this gauge is a three. This one is a two. You can just barely see it. So don't get too hung up on gauge readings. Now, if you had a gauge reading of three plus or four, yes, it's probably not gonna shoot well. But even my new barrels still gauge a little, a little over zero by these gauges. Now, how bad is accuracy gonna be? between zero and say two. Probably not enough to show unless you are a, you know, 95% better shooter. If you're posting, uh, you know, two nineties out of three hundreds consistently, having a zero over a two or a three barrel will probably affect your score a little bit. But the important thing is the crown. This one has a really nice crown. It's hard to see with the phone. My phone and camera skills are awful, so. But the crown looks really good on this one. Even, even through the camera, it's nice and clean all the way around. There's no nicks, there's no cuts. And for the most part, even if you look down inside, I don't know if my camera will pick it up. It's evenly worn on the inside, so you don't see any lands that are more worn than others. There's no pitting, heavy pitting right around the bore. So this is my recent rifle from the CMP. I posted it enough on uh, NES, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. The only thing I've done for any kind of accuracy improvements, I put in the solid gas plug Make sure the sights are tight. Tighten the swivel so it don't move. Good fitting lower band. New band pin. 
and work the trigger over a little bit so it's nice and smooth and breaks right around, you know, just under five pounds. And then just decent, decent ammo. A good bullet, 42 to 46 grains of your most popular Garand powder. And you should be able to hold the 10 ring of an SR target.